everybody, Emily with you today and for Technique Tuesday this month we're focusing on paint and I'm going to be using these alcohol inks and show you how to paint um, florals and pretty backgrounds using that. So you can see here I actually went in and did a paintbrush for some of these details so I'm going to show you how to do that. Here it is on black Yupo and I have today is white Yupo cardstock and Yupo is just a type of paper um, that can hold to the alcohol inks or even watercolor and then we also have some translucent sheets but today I'm going to use an acetate some cherry acetate sheets to create that see-through color so I'm starting out with my white cardstock background I want to just create a really pretty back um, abstract background and I'm going to put on some gloves because it does get a little messy. I have a glass mat and then some paper towel here. And I'm just starting with some alcohol blending solution. So I'm putting this all over my cardstock here, my Yupo, and just rubbing it on with my hands. And then I've decided to use some yellow alcohol ink here. Um, this is called Dijon. And I just wanted to recreate a look of kind of like the sun. And I also have this really pretty gold. You only really need one drop of it. Um, it reacts super cool to that alcohol ink or blending solution. So. I'm taking my tool here and blowing it and just adding more blending solution as needed to have the alcohol ink move around. This is such a fun technique, especially when doing backgrounds because it's just very abstract and you can't really make any mistakes here. And you just keep on going through with how much alcohol ink you want, how much blending solution to get the right flow for you. So this is just creating a really pretty background and then you can always let it bleed down but here look at that how pretty and shiny that is with the gold and then I am going to do a different color here on the bottom adding a little bit more alcohol blending solution and then some green alcohol ink here this is mojito um, the green really pops here I kind of wanted to try to do like the grass like a little landscape for the background for some florals I'm going to try to do again today um, this is a super fun I'm gonna add a little more gold because I love it so much this stuff you can shake up before you use and then look at how cool that reacts to it I love using that in my backgrounds it's just such a fun different unique look um, and you can definitely turn this into like a card background or something like that but I'm just gonna show you how to use alcohol inks in general here today so just using that tool to blow the um, alcohol ink around with that solution, I like that. I don't mind the white there, so that's a good background to have that settled. And then I'm going to do the acetate part. So I'm going to start with my acetate sheet. I have it cut to 5x7 so it can go up with that background. And I'm going to start with some pink here. This is a, such a pretty color called Fiesta. And I have the snow cap, which is such a cool blending um, tool or alcohol ink you can use with it to give you just a little bit of dimension. And I wanted to show you first. So this one I don't really like because it went off the page a little bit. So if you ever have a mistake like that, you can just take some isopropyl alcohol and just clean it off because with the acetate it'll just clean off like plastic so that's really nice so you can do that but also don't be too hard on yourself because it's not the easiest technique um it's just takes practice and learning and it's just fun to do i think it's just fun so you take your blower and you kind of want to do it at like a 45 degree angle you you don't want it to be sitting from the top and blowing down because then you'll get more spidery type of um a more spidery look so you'll see here what i mean um i'll kind of show you so i'm just trying to do a little bit of a flower look over here um with the white and the pink that looks that's looking pretty good but um there we go so you can kind of see that and so now i'm going to do a technique here with the white and then do the pink all the way around the white so it's perfectly in the center and then, so see how that one kind of spidered out a little bit, which is fine. Um, but if you do it from the top like that, it kind of doesn't look as floral as um, you could get it if you were kind of holding it at a 45 degree type angle. So I'm just adding more white and pink as I see fit. And then I added a little bit of alcohol blending solution there just to give it a little more movement because it does dry pretty quickly. 
so it looks okay it's a little wild <laughs> looking um this is only my second time doing it so i'm okay with it um going moving on with the white here and i'm going to add a yellow flower on the side here and again it's just kind of abstract and not perfect i'm just kind of still practicing um, learning how to use this and i just wanted to show you guys because it's such a fun technique so I did wipe off that one on the right hand corner so I'm going to just try again and continue on with the white and the pink and just using my blow tool as low to the plastic as I can and just kind of figuring out what looks best as far as blowing around the alcohol ink. There's really, it's not really like a math or science to it, you just kind of got to go through and do it. I think with this it feels to me like the more practice um, the easier it'll get. So I'm starting now with the green here. I'm just going to put a little bit of green on my glass mat with a little bit of snow cap and I'm blending that with a paintbrush. And here I'm going to actually just paint on my stems for my flowers. So just dragging it down and um, just kind of finding where I think that, you know, this looks like a really pretty flower here. So just adding a stem there and then one here as well. And then if you ever need a if this dries out because it'll dry out quickly you just add a little bit of alcohol blending solution to that and then paint over it and I did want to add a little bit more green and white to give me just a little bit more of a base here that I can paint um, over and make sure this all looks good and pretty and green so that looks good this is a really fun um, thing to do with the alcohol inks it's just fun to paint with them and I've never really used alcohol inks before, so if you never have, this is just such a fun, cool craft, and it's kind of calming, and I really enjoy it. So now I'm going to put some of the pink and blue together with some of the white, the snow cap, and create a purple. And from here, I'm just going to actually paint some, um, I don't know what these are called, I think poppies or something. <laughs> the little <laughs> balls of flowers, they're really pretty. Um, I'm just going to paint a couple of them off to the side of each um, of my flowers here. Um, and then one maybe in the middle here that looks good. And then I'm taking just plain white snow cap and I'm going in and dabbing on the edges of my the little flower balls here. So you can see... I'll show you here um, when you dab it on it kind of takes on the color of that alcohol ink which is totally fine you just got to keep going through with the snow cap until you get that lighter color you want this adds the dimension and is showing you know where the light is coming from I was kind of thinking it was coming from the top right side so kind of trying to go with that with all of them here and just going through and dabbing adding that texture um, adding the different shades and colors uh, I really liked enjoyed this part of it too where I actually have a little bit more control when you're actually painting with the brush so then going through and adding the stems here for these and doing just the same exact process with the green and then I'm also going to grab a little bit more of the snow cap and add some detail a little bit more detail into my pink flower up here and doing the same technique where I'm just dabbing with the paintbrush to add a little bit of texture to the center of my flower. And then I am going to continue on and kind of add a little bit of white um, to my stems here just to add that dimension, add that nice light color to it. And yeah, just painting how you see fit. This, there's no rules to this. It's super fun and um, you know, if it doesn't turn out right the first time, like I said, you can always wipe it clean or just keep practicing. I think with a technique like this, practice is always the best bet. So here are my flowers. Looks a little wild there at the top, but I'm okay with that. And um, looks super pretty though, and it's a lot of fun. And then here, this is the blower technique I was saying. So if you do it from the top like that, you'll get those spidery looks. But um, I want to show you this on the paper towel, so that looks good. And then you can also see this with my background so there it is with the yellow it kind of blends in with that yellow flower here but you could flip it around like this and have a background like that so that's it that's really all there is to it guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope you try alcohol ink soon thanks for watching